Welcome back to Tier 2016. I'm here once again with my WCW save. We are here with Thunder. Let's get started. We start off the night with Shamrock in the ring. Says, I told you last week, Lawler, if you don't give me a match for Starcade this week, we're going to have some problems. So now get out here and give me my match. Lawler comes out and he says, I'm not just going to hand you a match at Starcade. You're going to have to earn it tonight against Sting. With the winner going on to face Kurt Hennig in the cross-branded match. And Shamrock says, Lawler, if I get screwed out of this match, I'm going to come find you. And when I do, well, let's just say God have mercy on your soul. So Shamrock basically threatening Jerry Lawler if he doesn't win. Um, John Cena beats Sean Morley. Second week in a row he's faced one of Murder, Inc. This week he beats Sean Morley. Last week he beat Shane Douglas. Cena almost performed as well as Morley did in this match, got an 80. And after the match, Steiner appears on the Tron outside an apartment building and he says, and he says, do you recognize where I am, Cena? That's right, I'm outside your girlfriend's apartment building. Well, John, since Thunder is in Boston tonight, I forgot to have it set from Boston. Let's just pretend because I don't want to go back. But then again, it's just the beginning of the show, so I will. I will fix that problem. It needs to be tri-state. Um, maybe the Great Lake. I don't know. New England, there we go. Boston Garden Arena. Sure. And we saw that. That didn't change. That went up a point. And that went up a point. All right, Steiner, okay. So Steiner says, I'm going to give you a half hour before I continue with your surprise. So Cena runs backstage. He's hightailing it out of there. Trying to get back to his girlfriend's apartment. All right, here we go. Harle backstage, Harlem Heat attacked the Hardy Boys. So that will complete both of their turns. And go into a Starcade match with a heel fresh off a heel turn. All right, Benoit makes an entrance, and he defends the title in an 82B match against Rick Steiner, and he celebrates afterwards. Um, hype promo for tonight's main event, Jeff Hardy versus Booker T. Next, we have a 84B plus segment. Cena shows up in the apartment where he sees his girlfriend, who's played by... Um, um, I can think of her TNA name. She, when she was in TNA, she was Winter. Katie Lee Burchill, now Cat. Um, she's tied to a chair and duct tape on her mouth, takes it off, and she screams, Behind you, John. Steiner then attacks Cena with a lead pipe, handcuffs him to the oven door, you know, oven doors, you know, put the handcuffs through and handcuff his hands to either side. And Steiner yells, Surprise! Just so you know, boy, tonight was about me taking a shit on everything you hold dear to you. See you next week. I have another surprise for you, and I don't think you want to miss it. So Steiner unties her um, cat and lets her go tend to Cena and he leaves. All right, hype for Goldberg's Austin. And a random throwaway match here as Vicious and Delicious defeat Glacier and Ernest Miller. Then Shamrock makes an entrance and he beats Sting, so that will set another match for Starcade. It'll be Ken Shamrock and Kurt Hennig. And after the match, he cuts a promo and says, Hennig, I'm going to make my Starcade legacy by destroying you to the part point that you quit, just like Hulk Hogan did. So, um, 90 short, sweet, to the point. All right, hype promo for Jericho and Michaels. Next, we have a 88 B plus main event. Jeff Hardy defeats Booker T with a Swanton. Um, getting revenge from earlier in the night. Big match. 
good match to end the show. And, ah. Uh, second week in a row, I've messed up on celebrations. And the show got a 91, so it actually beat Nitro this week. First week in a while that Nitro was beaten by Thunder. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.